Tony Dorsett. Good evening, everyone. You know, it's hard to believe that it's been 31 years since I was in the shoes of many of the players that are here tonight. At that time, it was like living a dream with our pit team winning the national championship and personally winning the Heisman Trophy, Walter Camp, and Maxwell Awards. However, little did I know I was following in the, in the footsteps of a legend. Dope Walker put SMU Mustangs on the map in 1948. He played primarily as a running back, but he also punted, returned kicks, and kicked extra points. He was a two-time All-American, Heisman Trophy winner, and Maxwell Award winner. The Doker and I became friends in Dallas after the creation of the Dope Walker Award to recognize the most outstanding running back in collegiate football. 59 players were nominated and a 162-member National Selection Committee narrowed the field to three outstanding backs. Let's take a look at the finalists. Ray Rice, Rutgers. This junior running back was the power and drive of the Scarlet Knight offense. This is Ray Rice, second carry. Ray Rice is sizzling. See you later. Touchdown. Mike Hart, Michigan. Despite missing three full games in parts of three others, this Wolverine still carried the ball 233 times and racked up 1,232 yards. His drive and leadership helped spark the Wolverines' resurgence. Darren McFadden, Arkansas. The 2006 Dope Walker winner continued to dominate on the ground this year. McFadden amassed 1,725 yards, averaging more than five and a half yards a carry, proving to be one of the most potent offensive weapons in the nation. On behalf of the Guaranteed Bank SMU Athletic Forum, I am proud to announce the recipient of the 2007 Dope Walker Award, Darren McFadden from Arkansas. Darren McFadden joins Ricky Williams as the only back-to-back -back winners of the Dope Walker Award. You better hope you look that good 31 years after winning the award. Tony, thank you very much. Great to Darren, step up here. Uh, you, you've got one of these already. Now, now you join the great Ricky Williams with, with two of them. Was there a moment this year that, that stood out for you and, and a, a year that was even better than last year for you? Um, yeah, I feel like I had a, a better year this year. You know, I rushed for um, 1,700 yards and um, lesser games. You know, um, but I feel like the main game that stood out to me was South Carolina. You know, rushed for 300 yards. It was a um, great accomplishment. It was. You also got to throw the ball, six completions, four touchdown passes. Were you lobbying to throw a little more often out of that wild hog formation? Uh, you know, that's something uh, I worked out to the coaches about, you know, but um, they just trusted me to throw a few passes. They didn't want me to throw too many of them. <laughs> it's tough in the SEC. That makes three awards for the SEC, Tebow, Dorsey, and now you. Nobody's ever won this three times. Is there even a tiny chance you'd be a contender for a, a third Doak Walker Award? Well, I don't know. You know, um, I guess that's something we have to wait the next year and find out. Yeah, well, okay. Well, whatever you say, boss. Uh, the, the boss hog, Darren McFadden, whenever he moves on, there's going to be a lot of coaches in the SEC. Glad to see you move on. And Mr. Corso is with one of them right now. Yeah, 